That we should be to get out of, to get out of hellfire, to get out of hellfire. But never will they ever get out of hellfire. And theirs, Allah Taala says, and theirs will be a lasting torment. The question is: Do Muslims commit shirk? It's a very silly question, isn't it? Do Muslims commit shirk? Does shirk exist in a nation of Muhammad sallallahu It does. Allah Ta'ala answers this saying, وَمَا يُؤْمِنُ أَكْثَرُهُمْ بِاللَّهِ إِلَّا وَهُمْ مُشْرِكُونَ And the majority believe not in Allah Ta'ala, but they associate partners with Him. The majority, they claim to be the bearers of faith of La ilaha illallah, do not understand Tawheed. Do not understand Shirk. Apparently they are Muslims. But unconsciously they are indulged, they are involved in acts of Shirk. Supplicating, praying, seeking refuge, seeking aid from the dead, from the saints, from the prophets, from the angels, from the jinn, from the living. They make their vows to them. They offer their slaughter into them. They invoke them for the fulfillment of their wishes. They even, wallahi, many Muslims attribute their sons to these false deities. And despite all of these actions, they claim to be strong Muslims. Strong Muslims. This is not Islam. This is not Islam. This is shirk. There was a poem that was found. Next to the Prophet's grave, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, written by a girl, this poem read, O Prophet of Allah, come to our world, caught in the flames of war. O Prophet of Allah, come to the, to the rescue of a ummah, plunged in the darkness of doubt since long. O Prophet of Allah, came, come with a speedy victory to the world. And it goes on, and it goes on. Shirk after shirk, shirk after shirk. This person obviously claims to be a Muslim, but ignorant of Tawheed and ignorant of Shirk, not knowing what Shirk is. How many Muslims pray their five prayers while they're wearing amulets, talismans, twines, rings, bracelets, or anything for the prevention or lifting of harm? or affliction, or to gain benefit. How many Muslims do you see as soon as there's a new boy, a newborn? What happens? The immediate bead comes, the blue bead, the Kharija, which they claim that it will prevent the evil eye. Immediately is placed on this child. This is shirk. Ultimate shirk. When Muhammad Wasallam saw a man of a brace, with a bracelet. Another hadith mentions a, a brass ring. He says, what are you wearing this for? The man said, Ya Rasulullah, to overcome the weakness of old age. He said, what? To overcome the weakness of old age? He said, remove it. For it will only increase your weakness. And should death overcome you while you are wearing this, you shall never ever succeed. Why? Because it is shirk. It is shirk. How many people, when they go to the Prophet's mosque, or to the Kaaba, or to Mecca and Medina, or to Uhud or Badr, or any so-called holy place, they seek the blessing of the walls of the Kaaba, the Prophet's mosque, or the earth of the, or the soil of Medina, Mecca, or Uhud. They walk themselves on the walls, or on the earth, or their faces with it. How many people kiss the hand of the Shaykh for blessing, for blessing, how many people send their female relatives to so-called imposters, not sheikhs, the imposters, claiming that he will bless them by committing illicit sexual intercourse with them? There are many of them. Wallahi, many. 
This is shirk. This is shirk. How many people swear by other than Allah Ta'ala? Bin Nabi, bi rahmati abik, bi sharafak, wallahi bi fajr hadha al-nahar, I say. By the daybreak of this day. Or bin layl. Or bi rahmati abik. Or bi sharafak, for example. He says, oh shirk. Obviously they have not understood Tawheed, nor have they understood shirk. How many people say, had there not been this doggy, this house would be robbed. Or had not it been for this person, he would have been killed. Or had not, had not. Where's Allah? Where's Allah in all this? This is shirk. How many people believe in those imposters that claim to know the unseen? Astrologers, soothsayers, fortune tellers, magicians, sorcerers. Nothing but imposters stealing from the feeble-minded, ignorant Muslims. This is shirk. This is shirk. How many people believe in the horoscopes? And after believing in the horoscopes, they go to the books, the magazines, the newspapers to read the star signs. You know, I'm Libya. I'm this, I'm that. I want to see what's going to happen this month, or this year, or this day. This is shirk. This is shirk. Oh Muslims, oh believers. How many people believe in pantheism that everything is Allah and Allah is everything? This is shirk in essence. Like al hallaj who was one of the greatest leaders of this belief and the originators of this sect, he said, I am Allah and Allah is I. And thus he was condemned by all the scholars of his time and thus executed, slaughtered. Why? Because he's a mushrik. And they killed this shirk belief by killing him. Yet his followers are many. وَمَا يُؤْمِنُ أَكْثَرُهُمْ بِاللَّهِ إِلَّا وَهُمْ مُشْرِكُونَ And the majority believe not except that they commit acts of shirk. Brothers and sisters, this is not a lesson of shirk, but it's a warning that we Muslims should be aware of this. Aware of this. Vigilant. Understand Islam, understand what Tawheed is, understand what Shirk is, so you do not fall into Shirk and you become Tasfa Mushrikeen. And we heard where the Mushrikeen end up eternally in hellfire. Hellfire is hot and its punishment is severe. We ask the Almighty Lord to keep us far away from it. Another group that the Almighty Lord mentions to us that will abide eternally in hellfire. Are the disbelievers from amongst the jinn?